Hi everyone, Mary here from Mary from Ireland on YouTube, Angels Love and Light on social media. My website is www.angeliclifeguidance.com. Um, yes, I've set up another Facebook page for my products, put everything in the one place. My meditations, my Patreon page, my readings, my books my products on my photographs on cups and products and all of that so that page is mary from ireland products and shopping it's fb dot m e forward slash capital mary capital ireland 59 okay uh, i don't think i have that updated on my website yet but i will i'll do it after this so lots of stuff happening for me lots of different ventures and it's all fun uh at the moment no idea where it's taken me but it's fun it's getting me out there it's uh showing me there's more to me than readings um okay Okay, um, I'm using the Butterfly Visions deck by Jerry Totten this week and we're reading for July 22nd, week beginning. Now the first card that popped out is family and friends. Now we have a family situation in my own family, um, cousins and um, spouses and that and there is somebody passing over and nothing more that can be done today so that's so sad because it was so sudden um so prayers for that please and um family and friends and of course at these times family and friends are important and so have a look around at your family and your friends and you know be aware that they might be going through stuff if they're not contacting you maybe maybe they could do with a shoulder to or an ear a listening ear we'll say or they may need their own space so you trust your intuition on that your relationships with family will improve spending time with others is important for you laugh often and share your love with others okay so you know I was talking to a lady this morning too and things are not good in her family and she's done all she can do so she's stepped back for her own her own peace of mind and calm and energy and stress levels okay so you'll know what this means but things will improve as for help as for guidance as for the highest good for everybody in the situation now I, I, I'm feeling that's a flipper of a card and that it was just meant to be talked about before the rest of the reading but I don't think the rest of the cards are going to be linked to this I think they're going to be more about you and your journey through this week and how you're going to feel and the guidance that you need another flip and one on the floor this is the flipper two on the floor and I'm going to go with them all three on the floor yeah as I was thinking okay so for yourself your boundaries are people overstepping their boundaries with you or are you overstepping others boundaries have you taken enough from certain people uh, or certain situations or workplaces or even your boundaries I had this conversation with somebody this morning even your boundaries with uh, spirit and if you're working closely with loved ones in spirit or working closely with guides you know sometimes you can feel pushed and stressed and it is okay to say no I need a break I need to relax I need to calm I need to just quieten myself and take a break from all of this you don't have to be spiritual all the time you can be normal and spend time by the sea near a waterfall near a lake on a river you know water and drink your water as well so water is healing 
for you at the moment and watch your boundaries with everybody around you and your own boundaries too are you letting people walk over your boundaries it is important to set boundaries in your life sometimes it is hard to say no to others but giving too much will take your energy also your boundaries with yourself are you pushing yourself too hard are you wanting to be uh, perfect on this spiritual path are you wanting to live a perfect life there's no such thing you can only do as much as you can do and do no blame or criticism of yourself if you don't feel like doing or you don't feel like going any further your intuition your psyche your energy is telling you you need a break okay so watch those boundaries however it's panning out for you so the water spend time near a body of water to recharge take a sea salt bath or seaweed bath uh, to detoxify your body be sure you are drinking enough water you could also stand under the shower and bring all the colors of the chakras down intuitively visually over your body to clear all the chakras um, definitely a soak in the bath is very relaxing massage as well energy healing whatever do something for yourself because i feel uh, you're working too hard you know you're working too hard and when you do that for yourself, you'll be recharged and then you can be bold at seeing the opportunities that are before you, being bold at grabbing onto these opportunities because you'll be strong, you'll be recharged, you will be new, you will be feeling much more ready. So two parts to this reading. New opportunities will be coming to you. Do not hesitate to walk through new doors. These opportunities will be a life, a blessing for you. This writing is so very white, you know, and hard to read. Be bold. Do not be afraid to stand out from others. Embrace the uniqueness in yourself. Take risks and be adventurous in life. Yeah, so you might be asked to take risks. You might be asked to step out of your comfort zone. You might feel the urge to step out of your comfort zone. You might feel the urge to go somewhere, be somewhere, be with somebody, talk to somebody, work with somebody, change your job, go to a new town, whatever. Take risks and be bold. But don't forget, balance work, rest and play. Recharge the batteries first because these energies were very intense and strong and clearing and releasing and we're integrating the energies but by the end of the week you should be feeling much more ready for forward movement and recharged okay so have a lovely lovely week and i'm here for readings of course have any description check out the website and strong earthquake shakes greek you know how the phone so there's an earthquake in greece as far as i can see it's gone off my website now so love and light and healing energies to mother earth and two i've been guided during the week sending love light healing and peace to big cities we'll say and you know or built up areas where earthquakes can hit or big cities where accidents can happen there was a, i saw on the website this morning too that there was a, a race a boy race i'm not sure if, if i didn't read into it to tell you the truth the headline was that two cars plowed into some young children on a sideline and i'm not sure whether the race they were racing with two cars was illegal or not i saw the word Ill illegal but if you want to look it up it was in england somewhere so love and light and peace and energy and healing to mother earth to the people on it to the big cities to the places just set the intention for the healing to go where it is needed we had that in last week's reading as well we had world energy and i said send the healing before anything happens so we won't of course know whether it worked or not because 
things will be stopped in their tracks. Maybe weather will be diverted. Maybe an earthquake will happen out in the sea instead of in where people can be killed. Maybe um, we'll say some violence may be stopped. Maybe, you know, something will happen to stop it or whatever. So love and light to you. Just do that work for this week as well as your own work. And uh, you can do that by finding your own inner peace. And that might be that you'll get there by the boundaries and recharging your batteries. You can do that finding your own inner peace. So if you do feel you want to be working, you are doing your work in your quiet time as well. Your energy is helping. Just set the intention of sending the calm, peaceful energy out to who and where it's needed. So love and light to you. Talk to you during the week. I'm going to do a Patreon. I put up a few readings on Patreon, daily readings. I do want to do a romance, twin flame, divine partner, whatever, reading for YouTube when I upload this. So keep an eye out for that. Talk to you soon.